Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're looking at the Depica 12th century, early 12th century Viking arming sword. This is the Corsoy Gaiden, Corsoy Gaiden. I'm trying to get the pronunciation right on that. Take a look at some specs on this one, up close looks, and of course, we'll also do some cut testing. Let's get to it. Overall length, we're looking at 39 and 7 eighths inches and 33 and 1 16th of an inch of the blade length. This is a, this comes unsharpened from Depica because these are coming from overseas. So this one has a sharpening service added. So thank you to our sharpening guys over at Cult of Athena for servicing these to get cut testing to you. This is an EN45 high carbon steel blade. The fuller running through in this one is going all the way until about, about four to five inches at the upper, at the tip, right? Where pretty much the striking surface would be anyway. So excess weight has been decreased with this sword. Now this one has some weight to it. It's two pounds, 13.4 ounces as listed on the website. So we're looking obviously at a sword that's gonna be used in, obviously we're gonna be using a lot of cuts with this, but then especially with the range of it as well for how long it is, we're also gonna see a lot of just simply direct thrusting. I'm gonna grab my shield really quick and elaborate on what I mean. When it comes to mobility with this sword, this is a 12, or early 12th century sword where obviously shields would still have been in play. So when it comes to this one, just looking at this in these different guard positions that you can go into with sword and buckler, it makes a lot of sense that a sword of this, this weight is gonna be assisted with some type of shield, whether this be a 15 inch buckler that I use in my own swordsmanship training, or even a larger round shield that you may have seen in that early 12th century. About perspective wise, with this long of a sword, it probably wasn't gonna be used in a fashion where it was just by itself. So just kind of food for thought on that. I mean, look at it. Like that's it. Like you get, you, you get the line taken down, that's it. Right there. All right, let's look at some features on this as well. Um, looking at the handle, we have a threaded pommel. We have a handle that's four and three quarter inches, so more on the smaller side of the handle. We have a braided handle, so this is a wood cord handle with a leather wrapped grip that has stitching that is exposed right here. And that grip on that braided grip is gonna allow us to have some retention. So with so much weight on the handle pulling this around as you're going through cuts or even into direct thrust, you're going to have a lot more retention on that, something that I really like with this feature. Uh, this comes as well with a wood cord leather wrapped scabbard that has a little bit of retention. Of course, never hold a sword upside down. Always display it with safety as the number one. Uh, and then we're looking at the point of balance as well on this one. This is generally a forward heavy type of sword. What does that mean? The point of balance is pulled further away from the guard. So it's nine and an eighth of an inch away from the guard. That's the point of balance, nine and an eighth. So that's gonna allow us to have this more, more forward action with the blade, generally speaking. So when you have something that's a little bit more forward like that, it's usually probably accompanied with a shield or it actually just comes down to personal preference when it comes to the sword. So it's got some weight to it, probably would be assisted with a shield anyway, or if you were mounted, probably not with that, but this is probably assisted with the shield anyway. So it makes sense that you're not gonna be going into huge cuts over and over again to clear your flanks. You're probably gonna be holding the center and you have the range and the length of a longer 12th century arming sword. All right, let's take a look at a little bit of movement with the Corsoy Garden Viking arming sword, early 12th century arming sword, where I am gonna go into some larger cuts in order for you to see the blade in motion so that you know or get as close as possible to three-dimensional if this is something that you're interested in picking up. Let's take a look at that footage. Okay, so we took a look at some movement of the Corso Gaiden 12th century, early 12th century Viking arming sword. Let's take a look at some up close looks at this one in the scabbard and out of the scabbard.
All right, so thanks for joining me for this video on the Corsair Garden 12th century, early 12th century arming sword from Topeka, this Viking arming sword. If you want to pick this one up, click the link in the description below this video. I hope you enjoyed the cut testing and also a little bit of movement in order to showcase some cuts and thrusts with this blade that you might be interested in adding to your collection. Subscribe to this channel, like this video. As always, thank you for your support, and I'll see you in the next one.